Hey YouTube and welcome back to my Corvette um, HMS Bluebell build. Hope everybody's well uh, in the current uh, COVID-19 pandemic and that uh, you're putting this time to good use with plenty of kit building. Okay, so very quick update um, on what I've not done and done with regards to my um, Matchbox Corvette. Uh, I've put some railings on the, um, I've put additional railings on now um, the engineering structure um, at the uh, um, stern of the ship um, and I have done um, some of the bandstand uh, for the forward armament. Now uh, I just want to go over this and show you what I've done. So within the kit um, it supplies some very thin um, plastic uh, rod um, that you would use as the support legs for the bandstand. Now um, at the front of the bandstand there is this um, and then what what would happen is that you would use these legs uh, which you glue to the deck first and then place this on top and cement it in place. Um, having looked at real life photographs and seen video of HMCS Sackville, I noticed that um, some of these bandstands were supported with C-channel. So I wanted to replicate that and what I did was I, I, I ordered off of eBay um, some C channel and as you can see that there um, ordered some C channel and this C channel itself is um, four millimeters by two so it's four millimeters this way uh, and the, the thickness is two millimeters um, and they come in a pack of five uh, approximately 330 millimeters long um, I think the cost was about two pounds uh, off of eBay. I will put a link in the description to the seller that I got this from uh, here in the UK. So I decided that that's what I wanted to do and I've placed one there and one there and with the ladder's support it stands up like thus. So the other thing I wanted to do was um, I saw in many of the pictures um, that they had uh, what's described as a shell catcher and it's just basically a rim. Now it varies from ship to ship. Some of them have a very um, short shell catcher. Some of it it's, it's taller than this. Others it's um, a kind of like a, a short chain link fence. So what I did was I purchased, and when I ordered the C-channel, I ordered um, some 2mm uh, wide by 0.5mm uh, thick um, plastic strip, um, which I used. Now, the good thing about the strip, and I also ordered some more 0.5mm uh, uh, styrene rod, is that... When it's like this, I found that if you, very similar to ribbon um, in crafting, but if you just pinch it between your thumbnail and your forefinger and just run it, it will curl. And that allowed me to place it inside the mounting um, in order to then just glue it into place and then cut um, off the excess that I didn't need. So that's how I did that. And um, with the styrene rod on the top of the posts, I did exactly the same thing. Now, I did lose a one of the rods, one of the uh, uh, rail posts. So, um, and that was this one here. So what I did was I just cut some... 
um, paper clip to size and super glued it in place. And once it's all painted up, uh, it will look perfect. Um, what I'm looking to do next is the um, ready round cradles, uh, which go around the outside. Um, and obviously, as the name suggests, rounds for the four inch gun were placed into there uh, so that they were at the ready. And then obviously the charges um, were stored in the lockers adjacent to the bandstand. Um, so that's basically what I've done on the um, uh, bandstand for the forward armament at this moment in time. Um, I'm not gluing it to the deck just yet. Um, it is a bit of a tight squeeze with the armoured bulkhead, which is just in front of the um, wheelhouse where the um, locker storage uh, is housed. Um, but it does go in and it, it will, with a little bit of jiggling, sit. So um, I need to be 100% how I place that because I'll probably need to super glue it in place um, in order to prevent any uh, running of um, uh, paint, etc., uh, rather than use the plastic weld to put it in place. Uh, I don't want overspill uh, and damaging the paintwork after I pre-painted the deck before I put this on. So that's where I am. Uh, hope you're all well. I will give you an update. I started work on the depth charge throwers. Um, there's four in the kit. I've made some very slight alterations on what's there at the moment. I'm looking at how I can make them more realistic um, using photographs of the real thing. And um, I will look to uh, hopefully portray them more accurately uh, with um, plastic tubing, etc. that I will uh, again order off of eBay. So I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.